After NASA released the first images of data from the James Webb Telescope in July 2022, researchers began their search for the oldest galaxies in the universe. One record was broken after another, and finally, with Sears 93316, researchers found what is believed to be the oldest galaxy ever glimpsed by a man-made telescope. The largest and most expensive telescope ever built is on a mission with multiple objectives, one of which is to look for the origins of space. With the best infrared measurement techniques, the James Webb Telescope can see further into space than its predecessor, the Hubble Telescope, and above all, deliver even sharper images right at the start, making a discovery that could overturn previously accepted cosmological theories. Astronomers immediately took advantage of the new observing distance that James Webb had achieved, eagerly peering deeper into space than ever before. In the weeks that followed, reports flooded in about the oldest galaxy, so close to the Big Bang that we humans may one day be able to travel there. Researchers measuring the distance and age of the galaxies over the so-called redshift and over the speed of light have uncovered clues to the beginning of the creation of the universe. The bright or bluish lights in this image are celestial bodies that are relatively close to Earth, and their light took only a few or hundreds of years to travel from there to the observation mirrors of the James Webb Telescope. If the light from a star takes 10 years to reach us, we can see the star's position 10 years ago in images like these. Similarly, if a red galaxy is several millions to billions of light years away, we can only see it as a slightly blurry figment despite the new technologies of the super telescope. However, this image shows much more than just stars and galaxies. It is also a glimpse into the past. Since Hubble's discovery of Sears 93316 in 2015, the search for the oldest galaxies in the universe has focused on the galaxy GNZ11, which is estimated to be approximately 13.4 billion years old and barely 4% of the size of the Milky Way. About 400 million years after the Big Bang, GNZ11 would have developed. In physics, the redshift value is represented by a tiny z and is used to determine the age of galaxies. As seen in the deep field image, the redshift is related to how light travels through space, with nearby objects appearing bright and distant ones appearing reddish due to the filtering techniques used by the James Webb cameras. To learn more about a reddish and distant galaxy, researchers analyze certain patterns and shifts in the color light spectrum. When measuring the age or distance of an object in the cosmos, redshift is a useful tool. The GNZ11 of the galaxy has increased to 11.1 z. Since Hubble sensors have a limit, it is exciting that the James Webb may soon be able to identify galaxies with values up to 20 z which existence of which was once questioned by many astronomers. Conventional wisdom was that the universe was created a few million years after the Big Bang. In 2015, the discovery of GNZ11 has already triggered a small revolution because this galaxy existed 400 million years after the Big Bang, and researchers had not considered that possible until this galaxy was discovered. This fact can now be better illuminated and seems to call into question everything previously assumed. Besides its extraordinary age, Sears 93316 demonstrates a number of other quirks that are at odds with conventional scientific wisdom. Apart from the odd age, Sears 93316 has a huge mass, which indicates that there are many stars in the galaxy, making it far from small insignificant cluster of stars that might have originated soon after the Big Bang and instead the oldest galaxies in the universe. If you compare its mass to that of the Milky Way, you find that Sears 93316 is about five times heavier and more massive than any other galaxy in the region. Extreme luminosity is also displayed by Sears 93316. It is difficult to make definitive statements about the shape and nature of the galaxy due to its great distance from us. However, it is possible that this peculiar phenomenon is a main galaxy and a satellite galaxy or two merging galaxies. However, these appearances do not fit cosmologically and physically into the period 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. 
While the value of barely 17z has been confirmed by Schrodinger's galaxy, astronomers have begun to examine the galaxies in the immediate environment of Cirrus 93316, and in the process, values have come out that absolutely no longer fit into the previous picture of the universe. Namely, the cosmic neighbors only attain Z values of approximately 5. These are galaxies that should be far younger and closer than Sears 93316, but how can it be that these objects are spatially in the same neighborhood? This peculiar occurrence is now commonly referred to as Schrodinger's galaxy because of this. Austrian physicist Schrodinger worked with quantum laws. Quanta, like Sears 93316, have the feature of existing in multiple locations and moments simultaneously. Like Schrodinger's cat, in the world of quanta, a cat can be both dead and alive at the same time until it is observed by a human with a certain expectation. Similarly, with Sears 93316, the question now is whether the observing people are seeing something that the galaxy really isn't or whether it is, in fact, an object that will change the astronomical textbook of the world. Edinburgh researchers have cautioned that it is physically impossible for a galaxy with the luminosity and mass of Cirrus 93316 to have formed so soon after the Big Bang under current models. Since the 1950s, other theories about the nature of our universe have emerged, including the Big Bang, which has not been confirmed so far despite researchers' efforts to calculate known values from the present back to an assumed beginning time of the universe using data from that period. The bubble universe and the multiverse hypotheses are the two most well-known models, and they both have strong backing from quantum mechanics. The crazy speculation, if these theories are correct, we will need to find some time in the universe to explain phenomena that do not fit into the physical sizes of our universe, but show slightly or completely deviating values, such as Sears 93316 and the apparition. It is a basic requirement of the multiverse that we occasionally run with celestial bodies, since it is possible for multiple universes to coexist next to each other, inside each other, on top of each other, or even in parallel worlds. It's intriguing to think that perhaps the appearance of Sears 93316 marks the beginning of the discovery of whole new worlds and sizes in the cosmos, or perhaps the researchers simply fell for a mathematical or observation error. There is no doubt that the James Webb Telescope's first images have sent shockwaves through the scientific community, and that more extraordinary discoveries lie ahead in the months and years to come. Thank you for watching this episode of Space News Unfolds to the end. We'll be sure to keep you updated on these developments, so be sure to subscribe to our channel if you're interested in learning more about what James Webb has found and what strange phenomena has recently appeared in space. We have another interesting video ready for you. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you on to another space adventure.